YouTube, YouTube, what's up? This is RC Finest coming at you with another video of some goodies I have purchased for my brand new, the brand new King Motor 5B Buggy. All right, y'all, let me get started. I got a lot of parts, brand new parts, upgrade parts that I bought. Thank you for all of you who helped me in this process. Much appreciated. Too many of y'all to list. I'll give you another video with the shout outs individually. All right, I'm going to start on this side. Thanks to my boy over at Elite RC who uh, turned me on to these servos right here for excellent price. And proven and tested by him, so I know they work. eBay. Okay. All right. People at DDM. I bought the Walbro Zenoya wing clunk filter. You can get that over at DDM. A couple spark plugs. You guys all know about them. Uh, the Zenora Flywheel Tool Gapper. You don't really need it, but I bought it anyway. Just to have it in my tools. Okay, a must need. This is a must need. This is the Bartolone Racing Ignition Coil Spacer. So you can get rid of them plastic ones. Okay. Most of you have this already. I'm new to the, sport, uh, to the RC gas car family, so... I'm just getting all my stuff right now. This is your piston stopper. Most of you have that. All right. It's not a must, but it looks good because my colors are going to be orange and red. So this is a Craftworks plug wire orange. Most of you have that already, too. Big shout out to DDM once again. Thank you over there, Big Steve. All right, most of you already have this also. This is the DDM flywheel puller. I had to get that because, like I say, once again, this is my first gas RC. And I have bought another one, but that's going to be a surprise. It's coming from FedEx, I think, maybe tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> it's a nice one, man. All right, moving on. This is the GTB CNC uh, clutch bell shoe holder, vented. Vented. CNC. Okay. This is the Walbro KYWYTA spiral diaphragm upgrade for your carburetor. Oh, yeah. That's a must have. I bought the Area RC uh, high flow fuel lines. So we're going to be running that in orange. Like I say, my colors are going to be orange and red. Moving on to the uh, Horizon Hobby Large Scale Safety Kill Switch. A must have. I ain't trying to hit nobody's kids or nobody's property because I need my money for my RC stuff. Must have. All right. This is for the uh, this is the Snappy RC the grommet for the high flow fuel lines, which are three holes in it: one for the vent, one for your inlet and outlet. Must have. If you're running that setup GTB spur gear mount CNC must have you rid all that plastic stuff in your gear housing because it will melt okay it will melt moving on CNC brake kit must have upgraded brake kit that's a must have fellas as you already know moving on CNC aluminum gas cap from King Motor. I got me a lighten flywheel. This is a lighten flywheel with the nut and the key already there. Lighten flywheel. Got this from um, Top Speed Racing. I buy a lot of parts from them. They got good parts over there. 
top speed racing again this is your intake manifold CNC intake manifold a must-have get rid of all that plastic get rid of the plastic okay King motor this is your clutch bell carrier CNC clutch bell carrier must have I'm trying to get rid of all them plastic parts in that in that clutch area okay top speed racing this is your high flow air filter with the velocity stack one inch velocity stack okay all in one good price on this fellas all right moving on I bought a couple vents you guys already seen these before a couple fuel line vents gas cap vent I'll be installing them little mod thanks to my boy Eli East RC showed me how to do that okay this is your team chase carb diaphragm filter I think this will help keep that dirt and stuff out of the diaphragm of your carburetor must have DDM DDM fellas okay this is just for me just for my show RC engine dress up chrome kit I bought the whole kit that's just for me my taste this isn't a must but it sure looks good fellas all right this is the alloy spur gear cover GTB racing I think this is a must-have too I like it. I think it look good and you got the chrome pins with it all right I got my three-in-one oil there for my break-in and I bought me a couple little tools from DDM they had them on sale the uh, DDM uh, <clears throat> Allen hex short steel set and I also which I didn't need but it was on sale so why not pick it up it's the uh, DDM complete uh, hex driver set with the standard and ball in with handles and uh, with the handle and t-handle so that'd be cool come all together all right fellas and the last thing I bought I don't really need it right now because the car comes with the 1107 carburetor on it but I did go ahead and get the 990 because I know I'm gonna use it in something later sorry for the background noise fellas I'm on my patio my little workshop where I do all my RC stuff 990 carburetor should be a nice little addition all right fellas and that's it <clears throat> i bought these a while back these are some um let's see if i can get it out some on road tires i had bought i don't know which car i'm gonna put them on but sorry about that fellas. i'm trying to get it out for you wiggle it out of the bag there's some uh x max rc 170 by 80 on road tires so we're gonna throw those on there when we hit the street and I might be looking at another pair too I'm not sure but alright fellas right here in this box that's the next unboxing I'm gonna be doing that's that Baja 5B from King Motors with that 34cc in this black bag right here okay this is my little workshop that there is my uh red cat mt monster truck that i made uh electric i'll bring that out and show you that's just one of my cars i do electric and gas over here you have the uh traxxas x01 on top which is a speed demon um right here in the bag and then on the bottom of that, I have the Red Cat uh, Rally, which I turned into electric. And I'll show you that one, too. But all right, fellas, just wanted to show you some upgrades that I have got. Uh, thank you for all the help from all you fellas. I know I've been hitting you up, just asking you questions, getting information. But, you know, as being a newbie in this sport, you're the ones I'm looking up to to give me a little guidance and then get me on my way. And then after that, I can get off the nipple and, uh, you know, <laughs> go for my own self. And, you know, but when you first getting started in this, you, you do like the, the help and, uh, you know, the people that's been helping me out, like I say. 
all the guys that's been helping me out uh, uh, Gorley G man from uh, Steel City RC uh, you got a uh, RC custom speed runner uh, you got a uh, uh, RC dungeon all oh, big shout outs to y'all. This is in no special order. I'm just naming y'all off because y'all got good information and y'all been in the sport a long time and done a lot of stuff. So just a lot of people. Just want to thank a few of y'all. You know what I mean? Just getting out there. No, I want to thank Dan over at um O'Neill Brothers Racing, which is I'm in Los Angeles. He's right up the street from me. So I, I go over there and I get a lot of information from him. And uh, just stay tuned because we're going to be tuning some stuff here in a minute. Like I said, he's right up 15 minutes away from me, so it's going to be some good stuff coming, y'all. But uh, big shout out to everybody, man. Big shout out to everybody. Appreciate y'all. Peace out. More to come on that uh, that beast there, that 34cc. Yeah, I'm going to hook it up. I'm starting a day on this stuff here. So, all right. Peace out, y'all.